Hey Commanders, welcome back. Let's talk about the engineers. Uh, I'm going to walk you through how I went about getting an upgrade for my frameshift drive from Felicity Farseer, which will hopefully show you kind of how the engineer system works. And um, I'll start out by uh, showing you how you can find it. If you navigate over to the right hand panel, you remember the way we do that is two ways. Uh, you can hold X and then press uh, right on the d-pad to get over there or you can uh, use head look by clicking in your right stick and looking over there as well um, I'll use the um, I'll use the X when it kind of zooms it in a little bit better so you can see uh, down at the bottom here of this uh, first tab uh, under status you'll see at the bottom we have view engineers highlighted at the bottom right hand side if I hit that who open up the engineer panel and these are the known engineers now you you come to know these engineers um, based on things that you do in the game uh, for instance if we look at Felicity Farseer who is the one that I'm gonna walk you through in this video you'll see that we learned about her from public data sources and I don't really know what exactly I did uh, to learn about her she just happened to be one that uh, as soon as the horizons update dropped uh, she was available to me I also gained access to her because my Pilots Federation exploration rank is scout or higher. Um, so that's another thing that uh, had to be included in order for me to have access to her as well. And then in order to have final access to her, I have to fulfill my initial contract by providing a unit of meta alloys. So that's kind of what I'm in the current uh, process of doing right now. Um, is pro providing her with meta alloys. Different people will have different uh, needs. Well, Elvira Martuk, uh, I learned about her from public knowledge, so she kind of just popped up as well. Um, you also need to travel at least 300 light years from your starting location to uh, get further access, and then I need to provide her three units of Soontil relics. Todd the Blaster McQuinn, I learned about him from common knowledge. Uh, I've turned in more than 15 bounty vouchers. And if I want to get further access to the mods that he might have for multi-cannons and fragmentation cannons, I'll need to provide him 100,000 credits worth of bounty vouchers. And that won't be it. There'll be more to do as well. These two are still locked because I have a couple more things I need to do. I need to get uh, invited by the Eurebia Blue Mafia. Uh, for Liz Ryder and for the Dweller, I need to deal with at least five black markets. I've got two of those done. I need to do three more of those, and then I'll have access to those engineers as well. You do have a tab down here that says Engineer Help. Uh, if you need to, you can navigate into that, and it'll talk to you about invitations, modifications, and workshop access. So you're, you're, And I'll go through that a little bit later on as we get deeper into the process for actually creating the modification that you might want to do. So we're going to get uh, access to Felicity Farseer here and she needs a unit of meta alloy. Now the meta alloys usually come from the organic uh, uh, barnacles they're called that are out there in the galaxy that are out there to be discovered. Unfortunately uh, those are hard to find and some of them are bugged and you can't get any alloys out of them right now so what I've done is I've come to this location right here, Darnielle's Progress. It's actually on a planet in the Maya system, M-A-I-A -A system. Uh, and it's uh, the base where if you navigate to Starport Services, you'll find uh, that those meta alloys are available for purchase at quite a steep price, I might add. But if we go into the commodities market and tab down, uh, we'll eventually get to the meta alloys right here. And she currently has seven of those in stock at a, you know, at a pi price of 105,497. So it's going to cost you a lot of money to pick them up. I picked up two or three. Just I think I picked up four actually, just to make sure I'd have enough. And I may drop one of those for a friend that I play with, or a couple other buddies that I play with from time to time, so that they don't have to make the trip over here to get it. Uh, it was uh, kind of a long haul, uh, even in my ASP, to make all the uh, jumps to get over here. So now that I have the meta alloys in my cargo hold, and we can check that by going over here to inventory and going to ship cargo, you can see uh, right there I have four of them uh, currently selling for a galactic average of 88,148. I have four of those available that I can take with me uh, to go see Felicity Farseer with. So let's go back and view the engineers. And remember, we do that on the status tab, view engineers. Now, Felicity... 
uh, Farseer, I can also view her on the galaxy map by going down here, and it will show me her home system, which is Dekiat, 390 light years, Deciat, I'm not sure how that's pronounced, but anyway, it's an it's a place where, you know, we'll pop up on the map here, it'll show me it's 390 light years away, um, which is quite a long way, but in order to get the upgrade that I want for this frame shift drive, it's worth the trip. So I'll go ahead and plot the route over there. It'll tell me the route, and at this point, we can jump back out and take a look and see how long it's going to take. It's going to be 16 jumps to get over there. I'll go ahead and cut this video so you don't have to watch me jump 16 times between now and then, and I'll uh, come back to you when I'm over in the Desiat system dealing with Felicity. Okay, as you can see, we're uh, coming into the Farseer Incorporated base here, and the engineer bases are... Uh, actually pretty cool. This one is located on the top of a canyon wall, kind of like a Grand Canyon type um, environment. It's got a lot of structures and things like that that you can see. It's, it's pretty cool to look at. Um, and most of the engineer bases are like that. Coming on in, trying to get lined up for a touchdown here. I'll go ahead and get on the ground and then we'll get inside and uh, see if we can Lights figure out deployed what we're going to need to upgrade this FSD. Got me landing on landing pad 7, lucky number 7, so hopefully we'll have some good luck in here. It was a fairly uneventful trip over. I hit a number of, a number of systems that I could um, sell or gain cartographic data for, which was nice. I could be able to use that here. But anyway, once we uh, get in here, you know, obviously we can refuel our ship and all that. They even have some outfitting here. But the thing we're most interested in, of course, is the engineer's workshop. Uh, so when you go into the engineer workshop, uh, it's going to give you, well, first of all, we're going to get an achievement, social engineering. That's nice. Visit an engineer. Glad to have that. But the first thing I need to do is in order to facilitate this um, meeting with Felicity Farseers, I need to donate a one meta alloy so that I can unlock those secrets. So I've got four of those in the cargo hold. I'm going to go ahead and donate one right now. Okay. And that's going to give me um, access to certain upgrades. Uh, engines, FSDs, and power plants. Now FSDs can eventually be upgraded uh, to level 5. Power plants are at level 1 and engines can be upgraded to level um, 3. Um, right now we have grade 1 access. The more upgrades you commission for me, the more our relationship develops. So by buying modifications we can continue to upgrade those and improve them. What I'm looking for mostly is FSD because I'm certainly hoping to increase my jump range on my frameshift drive because I'm planning on taking a trip to the uh, Sagittarius A and then possibly on to Beagle Point. Uh, so I want the maximum you know frameshift drive I can take. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, highlight FSD and go in here and select. And of course I'm going to work on my 5A. I've already got the highest 5A level FSD in this ASP Explorer that I can get. So I'm going to select that as my upgrade. Um, now here you'll have all sorts of modifications that are listed over here. Some are, um, most of them are in red, and the reason is because I don't currently have uh, the micro resources necessary to purchase that upgrade. For instance, this one is a faster FSD boot sequence. Well, it cuts, uh, you know, it's going to cut boot time by 15%, which is kind of nice, but I need two grid resistors and two heat dispersion plates in order to, to um, buy that, and I don't have those yet. Some of these upgrades um, I don't have opened up yet, and that's because I need to commission more and more um, modifications from her in order to open more and more, you know, um, things. So, for instance, the one I'm probably going to look for right here is this increased FSD range. But before I'm able to get to this one and the level 5, I've got to go through these levels first. So it's kind of a, you know, it's a little bit of a grind, you know, finding the things that you need to find. 
Um, I'm going to need to find an atypical disrupted wake echo, two of those. I'm going to need to find two chemical processors, and I've seen uh, lots of chemical processors out floating around while bounty hunting. And then I'm going to have to locate some arsenic. So those are these are micro resources that I'm going to have to uh, locate in order to increase my FSD range and eventually work my way up. And you'll see as I go up, I need not only do I need those things in higher numbers, but I also need more things. In this case, a commodity, uh, presodymium. In this case, I'm going to need multiple selenium, yttrium, and modular terminals. In this case, I'm going to need anomalous FSD telemetries, chemical distillery, yttrium, and an energy grid assembly. And then finally, for the last one, I'm going to need strange wake solutions, chemical manipulators, polonium, and magnetic emitter coils. So, right now, I'm unable to really do any of these things, but what I can do, since I want to work on increased FSD range, is I can pin this. I can't, you know, I can't preview outcome or anything like that, but uh, it's going to, at the at most, it's going to, you know, increase my, you know, you know, optimize my mass by 4%, which would be nice. So that's a good start. So we will pin this blueprint. And to see pin blueprints, you're going to visit the engineer section of the cockpit status panel. So we'll go back now. I'll go ahead and exit out of here. I'll come back to the other stuff in a minute and show you kind of how those work. But if we come over here and we go to view engineers, we will now see, as soon as it opens up, it's lagging just a little bit. There we go. You'll see down in the bottom here that I can view the pinned blueprint, which is kind of nice. I wish you could uh, view more than one um, pinned blueprint, if you know what I mean. Uh, but right now you can only do one at a time. But if you want to look at that, it will show you the uh, micro resources that I need to locate uh, in order to be able to come back and, you know, purchase this modification for my FSD. And that's nice to have it along. Fortunately, you can only do one blueprint per person at a time. Uh, let's go back and take a look at some of the other things she has available. Uh, I doubt that I had, that there's anything in there that uh, I have the stuff to purchase, but we'll look and see. Let's check out the engines, first of all, if we look work on my thrusters. Uh, so you've got dirty uh, drive tuning. Um, this gets you further and faster. It affects, you know, your thermal load, local local power draw or sacrifice for increased performance. So you can, you know, kind of move that up the ladder. But you can see you've got clean drive tuning, drive strengthening, uh, different things here with different kinds of side effects uh, that could help you out in terms of your drives. Clean drive tuning is entry level stuff, but it will help you uh, for better thermal handling and performance, so that could be important. Uh, let's take a look at power plants. Uh, you've got an armored power plant. This is gonna, you know, make your mass higher, but it's also gonna mean that you'll be able to, um, you know, your, your power plant will last longer. Now, I do have a worn shield emitter, so if I had some vanadium, I could actually purchase this and open up that mod, but I don't have any vanadium with me, so I can't do that. In this case, the micro resources are sulfur conducted components, chemical distillery, and then we've got iron and a heat dispersion place. So different uh, micro resources that you're going to have to track down, and that's going to be the case for all the engineers. They're going to require different things for different uh, areas that you want to modify, and you're going to have to kind of grind through, get these things, and then bring them to the engineer and turn them in in order to open up bigger and bigger modifications and bigger and bigger modifications until you finally get to this modification. Uh, you know, for me, I want the increased FSD range. So eventually I may get to the point where I could increase my FSD range, you know, by quite a lot, you know, and that can be very helpful. You know, I've already got a 20, you know, 8 to 29 light year range on this ASP Explorer. If I can increase that by, you know, 15 to 40 percent that could make a huge difference in the amount of jumps it's going to take for me to get to Sagittarius A and then onward to Beagle Point and then anywhere else else in the galaxy that I might like to go get there faster with less jumps and uh, don't, don't waste as much time you know 
jumping from system to system, which is really what I want to put in this ship. So I'm going to keep working through these uh, increased FSD range blueprints until I get to the one that uh, I like and uh, collect all these resources and get them done. So in a nutshell, that's how you use the engineers. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. If you do have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to get to those as soon as I can. Uh, otherwise, I uh, hope you enjoyed that, and remember to fly safe out there, Commanders.